Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So, yes, I am here to talk about the whole Pusher T and Drake situation, okay? So, if you guys remember just a few days ago, I talked about Drake responding back to Pusher T, and basically, he went in on that Duffy single, and I loved it. And then yesterday, I went to bed early. I went to bed about 6 p.m., honey. I've just been tired running around getting stuff done. Only to wake up this morning and everybody and their mom is at me or tagging me with shit about Pusher T. So then I wake up, I listen to this whole Pusher T diss and Drake. And when I tell you my damn wig was snatched off my damn head, okay? Oh! Oh! My edges were gone by the time I got done listening to Pusher T's Drake diss, okay? He went in. If you guys have not heard his song, it's called The Story of Adion. I believe that's how you pronounce it, honey. Don't get me to lying, okay? I don't know how it's pronounced, but all I know is that the damn song is crazy, okay? The main thing that has a lot of people surprised, which I'm not sure why, because if you're sipping tea with your girl, honey, you would know that Lovely T talked about this over a year ago. A lot of people are shocked to hear that Drake has a secret baby, okay? A year ago, I told you guys about this. I told you about the porn star Rosie Devine, a.k.a. Sophia Brousseau. That is his baby mother and she had this baby about six months ago but since then she's been hiding the baby she's refusing to show the baby's face and a lot of people are saying that she's hiding the baby because drake is paying her off and she also blasted drake a few months ago where she called him a deadbeat dad and you guys heard pusha t say that in the song i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet of pusha t dissing drake talking about his secret baby and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a flashback of tigro damas talking about the situation a year ago go ahead and check this out So just when he thought he was cleaning up another pregnancy, all of a sudden this escort, she's an international escort. She escorts for the International House of Hoes. And basically you can find her in Dubai, you can find her in Florida, you can find her all over the world um, servicing men. And Drake hooked up with her, her name is Rosie Devine. She's pretty popular on Instagram. And once again, Drake ain't got no type, Hey. Thick bitches are the only chicks that he likes. Hey. <laughs> and she's claiming that after Drake smashed her to smithereens a few months ago that she's knocked up. She also hired an attorney, two big NYC lawyers, to get the paternity slash child support ball rolling after she allegedly conceived her baby on January 20th or the 21st. She also has alleged text messages from Drake where the rapper urges her to have an abortion and insults her when she refuses to. So the whole situation is a hot mess. It went viral. And like I told y'all in the previous video that I did about Layla Lace, that this is not the first time that it had been reported that when girls end up praying about Drake, he'll send his goons to beat them up and threaten them and all types of stuff. And we have pictures um, back on January 24th of Drake with this damn escort chick, you know, and I don't know what country they were in at that point, but there's pictures of them together. And she's saying that that's around the time that she got pregnant. And right now she's saying that she's three and a half months pregnant. So I want to go ahead and read you guys the text messages that she says are between her and reportedly Drake. So this is what Honey, when I tell you, I still got to clutch my invisible damn pearls, okay? Push your T went in. A lot of folks are saying, you know what, Push your T, you went too far. All he did was name your fiance. Why did you have to go there? You talk about his mama, his daddy, his baby mama, his, his child. You just went in. It's not okay. But I would like to remind you guys, like I told you guys before, when the whole Drake and Kid Cudi thing went down, there's no such thing as going harder than Tupac with the whole hit him up diss, okay? This new generation is sensitive. Tupac had one of the coldest, most lethal diss records ever, okay? No one is touching Tupac. If you were a child of the 90s, you remember hit him up. So to me, there's nothing more vicious than that, okay? But I will say Pusha T definitely went hard. He put all that man's business out there. Pusha T did not come to play. And then he also had the nerve to call into the breakfast club this morning, honey, and spill some more tea. Go ahead and check out this snippet right here. How long you been waiting on this, Pusha? Yeah, I was going to say the How same thing. How long you been waiting How on this, How long you had this in the cut, Pusha? Yeah, man. Be calculated, man. You got to live a calculated life. That's it. My goodness. Now, at uh, 40, Noah Shabib also said, coincidentally, uh, it's World MS Day since he was brought up in the song as well. Did you know that today's World MS Day? Multiple sclerosis. Oh, man. Wow. That's that's ironic. <laughs> Yo, push is an ass. Man, push it. Go back ironic. to sleep, man. No, man. Listen, man. I, you know, 
I'm 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 just here, man. You know, I'm here for the sport of it. But like I said, when it gets personal, it just gets personal. You don't think you went too far with anything? No, not at all. I I definitely didn't go too far with anything. Are Was there anything that you censored yourself with that maybe you perhaps had originally wanted to put in a song and then changed your mind? Uh, I'm not censoring myself. That just you know that's just more content for for if needed later. I'm so, definitely not censoring myself. Oh, so there's so, more so content. So if, if Drake taps out, because that's what I'm, that's what I'm recommending Drake does. I'm recommending that he taps out because I don't think he's willing to go as far as you're willing to go. Would I'm you a, Would you I'm stop? I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I don't got no skeletons. I don't have any skeletons that are like I, nothing. It is what it is. If Drake taps out, would you stop push? Would you be like, all right, I'm good? No. If he taps out. I mean, it, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna bully this situation because I feel like it's. I think it's bigger questions now, though. I really do. Right. 100%. And they, they don't have to be answered to me, I, but I definitely feel that there are bigger questions than the thing. All right, so you guys just listened to the Breakfast Club interview. Now, I do feel bad for Noah, who is Drake's boy. His name is Forty. Um, basically, he is suffering from MS, and he did post that today, that today is MS Awareness Day. But as you guys heard, Pusha T does not care. He's not here for the MSTs or the MSTers, okay? He's basically here to drop his diss track and shut Drake up, okay? So the whole situation is a hot damn mess. Now, a lot of folks are really upset about the whole blackface situation. Now, I want to dig into this to find out why exactly Drake would have on blackface it didn't make any sense to me so this is the story behind the blackface so they're saying that basically it was originally captured by photographer david lyles the photo is speculated to be shot in 2008 in association with the toronto-based brand two guys in it drake is seen wearing jim crow couture from the label's 2008 lookbook which coincides with the post on the official OVO's very own blog spot that year. The post links the artist to the brand whose goal is to represent the black experience in an unapologetic way, according to the website. So then once the pictures went viral, um, David Lyles, he pushed for the photo's removal from Instagram. And basically, Instagram did as he requested, and they took the photo off of Pusher T's Instagram page. And Pusher T posted that the picture was removed, and he had to basically confirm removal of the picture before he'd be allowed back onto Instagram. Now, this is what else David Lyles had to say about the situation when he was asked on his Instagram page before he made it private. Somebody asked him, they said, you know why we're here, bro. Put the picture up. David Lyles says, ask Drake. I captured his idea. Um, then somebody else adds him and he says, but you captured it. You could have denied doing it. And then David Lyle says, hell no, for sure I took it. I'm proud to be a part of a strong statement made by a black man about a fucked up culture he's living in. So it's a real picture. It's not Photoshop whatsoever. So you guys just heard me read all of that stuff that was going down on Instagram between David Lyles and Instagram followers and everything else. So now this photo is being removed off of a lot of websites. I don't know how much Drake is paying to get that done, but the whole situation is crazy. Now other people want to go ask Lupe Fiasco what he thought about the situation. And this is what Lupe Fiasco had to say. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw what Lupe Fiasco had to say. So basically, in his personal opinion, he feels like, you know what, there's more than one photo. You know, this is not explained properly. And then he also feels like, okay, well, Pusher T, he also used Whitney Houston's Drug Strong Bathroom as his album cover. So can he really talk about disrespecting, you know, somebody who's black when he did this to a black woman? So Lupe Fiasco had his opinion. Some people were saying that Lupe Fiasco is, you know, caping for Drake and everything else. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey, but I'm not surprised that it came out in the way that it did. I feel like Drake fell for the bait. And now looking back on it, when Pusha T put Drake's name in that song and then he talked about Quentin Miller, you know, he probably didn't think that Drake would bite. 
or maybe Drake thought because he's more popular, he's bigger than him, that he could go at Pusha T, and then everything would just be, you know, just water under a bridge. But basically, Drake fell for the bait, you know what I'm saying? And Pusha T came back, no holds bar. He did not give a damn. He came at Drake's entire life, including his family, his baby's mother, his child, you know, just everything. And my thing is, for him to come so hard, I really wonder if there was something between Drake and Pusha T's, you know, new wife. Like, I just find it really funny that, you know, all Drake did was just mention her name. And I understand a lot of guys in the hip-hop world, they like to portray themselves as single. And, you know, they don't want anybody in their business. They don't want everybody knowing who their main girl is because they want to portray a certain lifestyle. But Pusha T's never really been that type. He's never been the Playboy type. So, you know, the, the tin hat in me, you know, feels like the reason why he went so hard, one, was to put a nail in Drake's coffin, okay? He wants to be the king. He wants to get rid of Drake. I get that. But then part of me feels like, you know, maybe Drake has some Thing potentially going on with his wife you know before him and Pusha T got together and so Pusha T was like you know what I'm about to just shut that shit down so I don't know that's just my little conspiracy but he definitely went hard you know what I mean I'm going to remain unbiased I don't care if I am a Drake fan if I'm a fan of his music if somebody goes harder than Drake I'm going to say they went harder than Drake and in this instance Pusha T definitely went harder than Drake but I also feel like this as far as Drake and blackface uh bro you got some damn explaining to do okay I'm trying to figure out you know why you're in blackface the photography guy, David Lyles, is saying that that was not his idea. This was Drake's idea. The guys from the clothing company, they're also coming out saying that it wasn't their idea either. So I'm trying to figure out why Drake, you know, decided to paint himself in blackface. He could have just made a statement with just the shirt alone. So it's going to be very interesting to see if Drake responds to this. It's going to be very interesting if we end up seeing his baby. As we all know, Sophia has been keeping her baby under wraps. But I feel like she's keeping him under wraps because she's getting a payday. And she probably had to sign an NDA that if she releases it too early, she'll be sued trust me it's a bunch of shit in the mix okay but for him to basically talk and acknowledge his child via a damn adidas you know sweatsuit campaign i think that's just stupid and i'm really glad that pusher t put that out there because it does make you look at drake's integrity different i was already looking at him differently when i heard that he had knocked up a damn porn star but then the fact that he's kept his child hidden all these months definitely makes his fan base look at his integrity different because he likes to come off like this innocent you know what i'm saying good guy respectable guy and now it's like how respectful are you when you're going inside of a porn star raw and you're knocking her up and then you're trying to force her to have an abortion and then when she doesn't you don't acknowledge your child publicly so the whole situation is a mess but it's going to be very very interesting to see how all of this plays out so anyway y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Pusha T basically coming for Drake's soul okay let's go ahead and get the discussion popping all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.